Um, so, you know, a couple things that I really stood out about, um, about Leslie's conversation was that just this notion, uh, and when I say Leslie, I'm sorry, Bernie made me white. This, this notion, this absurd notion that um, we have to ask for permission before before we make our move. No, nah, sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that maybe those were the rules before I came into the room, but that's just that's just not how I operate. That's not how I live my life. I don't ask anybody for permission for anything except for my wife. Eh? OK, let's be real. I asked, my, you know, we give each other permission for different things. But in terms of this, in terms of what's important to you um, and, and I tweeted this out earlier, I'm not an inspirational speaker. I don't do motivational speeches. But if I ever gave you one, it would be to not wait for permission from anybody. If you're passionate about it, don't wait for permission from anybody. Don't wait for the special nod. Don't wait for the go ahead. You go and disrupt. You know, in the industry that I work in, we always analyze disruptive technologies and disruptive business uh, models. Um, it's the businesses that come along and disrupt the status quo. Those are the businesses that are that really become the new status quo in 20 years. Like, you know, it's it's the new industries that come along and break up and don't ask for permission. They don't need the OK from anybody. They just go out there and they do what they're great at. And I'm telling you, if you would stop waiting on people to give you permission on Twitter, making and people giving you permission on Facebook uh, for your activism, people in your community giving you permission to go out and, and, and protest and go out and stand for what you believe in. If you would stop waiting on that OK and just go out there and do it before you know it, you will have people following you to help you because people want that type of leadership. So long story short. There are no gatekeepers. Nobody is in charge of you. You're a grown ass person. You make your own decisions. You make your own moves. You disrupt the status quo. If they want to know where you came from, say, it don't matter where you came from. You're here now. And, and I think that's the number one thing that we can do for the progressive movement is that we don't need the establishment's OK. We don't need President Obama's OK. President Obama endorsed Debbie Wasserman Schultz. At this point, I don't want President Obama's okay. And I tell you what, I love President Obama more than probably anybody else. But if that's the game that you're going to play, I don't need his okay. I don't need DNC's okay. I don't need anyone on Twitter's okay. We have a progressive movement and we're coming, we're kicking butts and we're taking names, period. Try to stop us.